If you want to export all of your layers in an Illustrator file, the easiest way is to start with this online script from ericsson.net. This basically is just an exporter script for Illustrator that'll iteratively export every single layer out of Illustrator into a separate file. You can go ahead and just download this, and I'll also leave the link in the description. This is in my downloads folder now, so I'm gonna leave it there for the purpose of this tutorial. You can also, of course, move it into your directory for Illustrator scripts. What I have here is a bunch of layers here, and if you look closely, you can tell as I move up the hierarchy here, these jets become less visible, and that's for the purpose of animation in a video game, right? So this is just a sequence of a jet turning on and off, and so obviously it's easier for me to animate this if I send out each separate layer as its own sprite. To do that, I, I went and grabbed the script. I'll first turn off this gray layer, as that's only there to show you the visuals, and I'm gonna enable all of these layers here to show that I want them all to be exported. Now all you have to do is go to file and then hit scripts and then other script, right? And I'm gonna go to downloads because that's where it was. And it's called this multi-export.jsx. So right now what I can do here is pick a directory for output. So for the sake of this tutorial, I will go to the desktop and I'll hit make new folder and I'll say jets tutorial. I'll hit okay after selecting it, if I can select it. Okay, we can see that there are three selections here, arc boards plus layers and arc boards. I personally don't use those. For the sake of this tutorial, uh, we're only exporting these layers. So this will be, you know, all these activated layers here. So you can also set a suffix and a prefix, but it's perfectly fine to just leave them empty right now. And if I hit export, it'll go through and on every single layer, it'll export it as a PNG because I've picked PNG24 here by the layer's name. So we'll see jet10.png, jet9.png. And I use this to make a pretty cool effect. It finished up here and I'm just gonna go to the desktop and see if we've got what we were looking for. It should be in Jet's tutorial. There they are, they're all in their own file. So as I click through here, we can see this jet progress go through and that's pretty cool. That's actually going to be it for this tutorial guys. And if it helped you out, make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe to see more tutorials like this. And let me know if you wanna see more stuff about Illustrator or if you don't wanna see stuff about Illustrator at all. And I will see you in the next video. Have a good day. Okay.